Weddings are complicated, but your wedding website and registry don't have to be using the payable apps and Google Forms. So here's how we're going to set it up. First, we're just going to go over to payableapps.com backslash templates, and we're going to copy the wedding registry template. That's just going to make everything so much easier. You can customize it with your own pictures, any RSVP information, and then your gifting options. So we want to use a couple different options because not everyone wants to contribute to your honeymoon. Maybe some people want to help you with a house or even, you know, give you a different amount of money. Uh, so we want to create an open-ended gifting option. Then once we're done with all that, we're just going to hit that little extension button. We're going to go to payable forms and we're going to make this form payable. So once that's going, we just have a couple little steps to get this started. It takes about two minutes. You can set it up connected to your PayPal account, to your Stripe account, to your Square account, whatever is easiest. So we're just going to connect to our preferred payment provider. So super easy, goes really fast. And the nice thing is you don't have to have another website handling these payments. The second someone pays, boom, it's in your account. No muss, no fuss, no subscription fees. So now that we're connected, we're going to enable the form. We're going to make it payable. But before we just start sending this out, we're going to turn on our test mode and we're going to make sure everything works. We're going to make sure the checkout goes the way it's supposed to. So we're going to update that. And then we're just going to try a test version of this form. So we're going to enter preview mode. And then we're just going to fill it out like we are a guest. And again, here's where you'd have all your RSVPs. If people are getting chicken or fish or the vegan option, if they're bringing a guest, uh, even you know stuff like if they have any songs that they want to request during your DJ set. And then, of course, people get to pick what they're going to give you. This guest is particularly generous. We're doing $300 worth of stuff. And then we're just going to run through the payable checkout process just to make sure that everything is working correctly and everything is filled out the way it's supposed to. And once we get to that, we're going to confirm our email address. This is just to make sure that people's orders don't get confused in the process. And we're going to find my order. And then boom, your checkout page is here. It's $300 and all they have to do is pay it via PayPal or debit and credit card. So you don't need a PayPal uh, address in order to actually use your PayPal account. So there you have it. Uh, and then to share, we're just going to go up to the right hand corner on our Google form. We're going to hit send and we're going to grab that URL. So thanks so much for tuning in and you can learn more and get paid over at payableapps.com where we have more videos, longer ones to explain how this whole process works if you need it broken down. Tons of blogs with some great ideas for how else you can use this to make some cash. Thanks for watching. Congratulations on your wedding.